Patrick Gleason, comic book artist and writer. He captures the moment right. He plays around with the characters all the time. It isn't just about standing and posing, but he also thinks, how can I make it funny? How can I make it different? I forgot he did a Spider-Man run with Nick Spencer, but I really like his Spider-Man the most. His art is bright and expressive, and it's never the same when he goes from Marvel to DC or vice versa. With his rebirth Superman, he had a classic bold look. He felt brighter. He was a family man and at times a force to be reckoned with. You know, they should really talk to artists about creating movie posters. I think some of these pieces stand out more than what we get nowadays. He has vastly improved and experimented with other forms of art. And I think just like Superman, he's a force to be reckoned with too. My co-host Joey from my podcast said, looking at his artwork, you get to see the subtle definitions he puts on the characters when he draws them, such as Superman, Spider-Man, Black Cat, or the Bad Family. Regardless of the subtleties, he doesn't take away from the character's original design. The heroes and villains are still defined by their details. Looking back at Action Comics 1000, the art piece he did for Superman stopping the train, you see the subtle details that define the character and object. Yet you still see the destruction of the train, but the perfect expression on Superman's face as he's stopping the train and the expression of the child walking without worry, he got it right. I remember thinking like, trying to do the math, you know, this is 775, when are they going to hit a thousand? Never in my wildest dreams imagining I'd be, you know, doing a, a writing and drawing a two year run leading up to 1000 and, and having wow. a place in it. So yeah, it was, it's really, I'm kind of living the, the dream come true.